and we are live for this live stream so welcome everybody and welcome dr kim so happy you're able to be on tonight i'm glad i'm here yeah i bet you are so you guys dr kim lives on in st pete very close to the beach so she skirted herself up to georgia to the mountains to Pickens County, <laughs> knowing that, you know, it could be really challenging. So she is here with her puppies and her family. And yes. I'm so glad, Kim. Yeah. And we were here, we're safe and sound. Not that it wasn't a, it was a touch and go for our, our area, but we were um, saved and, um, you know, just, just some power outages and, and little flooding and no big deal. And, but I love just coming to the mountains and being here also. But yes, I had to buy this sweatshirt at the local grocery store because I didn't bring warm enough clothes for the nights in, in the Georgia mountains. Yes, yeah. and it has chilled down and it went from like 90s last week to now it's cold. <laughs> it is, it is. What does that do to our bodies, right? <laughs> that uh, autumn equinox, whoa, the body is, but there's lots going on and and um, we just want to send out so many prayers to those who are caught in this, who are homebound, who lost, who lost people and lost things. So sending right. many, many blessings and we'll be there's doing lots, that. And there's a lot of internet out now. It's going up the coast, South Carolina, North Carolina coast. You know, they've got hurricane watches now along that way. So it's just been, you know, we need to get rid of that storm. We, we do. <laughs> and we'll wand. And again, we talk about setting intention. So I know, you know, for the last week, etc., I turn my wand on to one my water to one myself and just send out so many prayers to everybody. And um, that's why I said to Kim this week, like, what should we do? And she was right on it. Reduce anxiety and fear. And I thought, oh, my God, how perfect. So that's what we want to talk about for you guys tonight. And um, I thought I would start with just a little bit of some things that you can do in the moment without the wand. These are just specific things to help with stress. And then we're going to move right on into some great information that Kim has for us too. So I know these are things that I teach my clients a lot about stress because, and how to reduce stress because look right now, the stress is way up, but even normally just going through our life, we get stressed. There's so much going on. So you know, one of the things that we know in science really makes a difference. And part of the thing is it's really simple. And the simple, easy stuff is the stuff we tend to forget, don't we? We love the complication. So from a simple standpoint, the breath. We have the breath with us all the time. And learning, I want to just teach a really short, quick, an extremely powerful breath that can take you from really like this to really calm. And then Kim's going to teach you some things we can do even on our feet to just help us ground down. So let's talk about the breath. I'm going to put my one hand up on my chest and the other down on my belly. Let me kind of stand up. I'm going to lift this up a little bit. And I call it, we call it the three-part breath. Now, with a three-part breath, you're going to breathe in through your nose and see if you can get that breath down into the belly. You'll feel the belly expand like a balloon and then keep breathing in. You'll bring the breath up. The rib cage will expand and then you'll get into the chest. Now, what do we typically do when we're stressed out? We, we breathe from here. We never let the breath go all the way down. So once we inhale that three-part breath, you might even feel your hands coming apart from each other. Your tailbone might arch out just a little bit. And then we're going to exhale. We're going to exhale through the mouth, like through a straw, like that. And see if you can start that exhale slow, getting relief first from the chest then feel the ribs drop and then the belly draws in. See if you can make that exhale really long, longer than the inhale. Let's give it a try. Let's do two just to practice it. So first, just notice how you're feeling. <sighs> All right, then just relaxing down, inhale through the nose. 
Good. The belly expands. Feel the ribs. Feel the chest. You're all the way over. Maybe even take another little sip at the top. Beautiful. And then through your mouth really slow. And see if you can feel a relaxation of the shoulders, the neck. All of a sudden, the hands will start to come back towards each other. At the very end, you can even draw that belly in to get rid of all that air. And automatically, you're going to want to just go time to breathe in again. Let's just do one more. Inhale. Beautiful. Pause at the top for a second. Exhale through the mouth like through a straw. Slow. And then you can drop your hands and just settle and notice what happens. So something with that breath is that when we inhale normally, it actually stimulates our sympathetic nervous system. That's our fight or flight. But when we exhale, it stimulates the para, rest, re and, and rejuvenate and restore part of our autonomic nervous system. So when we inhale, maybe to a count of four, if you like the count, hold for just a couple seconds and super slowly exhale and draw the exhale out longer than the inhale. That helps you to get more into the parasympathetic or that relaxed sensation. So once you're down there, a really nice thing now is to just do that deep breathing and just feel everything just settle back. It's beautiful also to add some movement to it. Those are some things that we do in my gentle somatic yoga class. It's great. They do that in Qigong because it works. And then just see as you're doing it, if you can sink your focus from all those stress thoughts just take your focus down into your heart space. Now, what happens is when you slow your breath down and make it slow and deep, your brain actually connects with the breath. So it makes it even easier to relax down. So just one more. This time, focus in on your heart space. You don't even need to use your hands now. Inhale. And exhale. And just notice how beautiful that is. Right then, like I know for myself, I just completely relaxed. How are you feeling, Kim? Did that help? You're feeling great. You're great. Yes. Isn't that to do that? Thank you. So it's just a super simple thing. You know, the one thing that we have with us all the time is the breath. But because it's so simple, we don't think about it. And just think real quickly, what happens when we get stressed? We chest breathe. We don't breathe and we breathe quickly. And that's sympathetic. Then we're in that fight or flight. And have you ever noticed how you cannot make a good decision? You cannot think. You can't remember anything when you're stressed. It's all part of that brain to body connection. So deep breath down and relax. So from here, Kim, now that we're down, what would you suggest? How would we now ground ourselves out of our heads and get all that energy and focus down? Okay. Well, I would suggest using the kidney one point, the acupuncture kidney one point, and that's at the bottom of your foot, right here. If this was your foot, this is your hand. But Renee's showing you at the bottom of your foot. And I love with, in my clinic with my patients, that's one of the first things I do. I bring out the wand. I talk to them about the wand. And then we put oil, um, the oil that I happen to sell. You could use that. And we put it on their feet, on the bottom of their feet. And we blow and we use the blower and we we blow on that kidney one point and that kind of sets the intention of their entire treatment so we do that first in every treatment every patient we always do another acupuncture point then that uh, has the every acupuncture point has a movement just like breath has a movement just like music has a movement acupuncture points have movements and this is called it's in between 
the two the tips of the eyebrows right above the nose, but it's level to your eyebrows, and it's called yin tang. Y I N. Next word T A N G. Yin tang, and that actually your the movement is like I open my heart, I open my body mm-hmm. to receive, to receive the the health that this um, acupuncture will give me, that this treatment will give me, that whatever we're doing, but that this point is the, the movement of it is putting out your hands and relaxing your body. Mm-hmm. So that is a great point to use with your Itera Care wand right here. And I and you're not wanding the eyes, you're wanding the, the point above your nose at the tip in the middle of the eyebrows. Yin Tang. What and it's a beautiful point. So and then you could come down to Ren 17, which is bet- in the um, level with the nipples and in the middle of your oh, breast. Okay. Ooh. Mm-hmm. And it's a great point. You know, a lot of times uh, in kinesiology, we tap that point mm-hmm. also to center ourselves. But, you know, I think that centering is that yin, that kidney one, it balances bottom of the feet. Yin Tang, it relaxes, opens you up to, to health and wellness. And then your Ren 17, giving you a more balanced, even more balanced um, approach. So those, 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 just those three points are worth their weight in gold, Renee. They're just perfect points. I love that. I hadn't known about this one, even when we were talking. I can't wait. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Love that. So, you know, Kim, especially as we're up here, because we're already up in this area, one of the things that I've learned is also the, the benefits of smell and scent, especially to the lymphat, to the limbic system, but to the whole body. And it's one of the reasons I, It's one of the many, many reasons, and I mean this sincerely, you guys, that I love Kim's oils and her creams because she has really also put together the very specific scents through essential oils that also help with that as well. So with the wonderful oil, it's one of the reasons I so love it. I also smell it and put it on those points. Can you explain what's in this, Kim, and why those might be also helpful? So the scents, the essential oils that are in there is orange ginger that I put usually in every one of my oils, every one of my pain creams. But orange, orange reduces the stress and ginger essential oil facilitates the elimination of toxins and boosts digestions and uh, digestion and eat and eases the discomforts of the stomach and bowel and enhances appetite. And I, I, when I want to say enhances appetite, enhances the appetite to eat clean, to eat correctly. And um, it clears, it can clear the respiratory tract, it, but it also reduces inflammation. So just think of that. And then you have blueberry, blueberry being a dark purple, um, obviously dark, dark purple fruit that will reduce inflammation and recover the body and reduce stress. And then we put also vitamin C, which enhances the health. And um, so it's a fruity kind of sensation that you get because it it actually gives your body this sense of well-being. And that's why I put it all together in this mixture of fruits. Mm. So, yeah. And it is, it's beautiful. And I just, it's just a beautiful smell. I mean, I just, I love it. And know too, you guys, if you're using the oil, it's not it's not perfume. It's an essential oil scent. And I only say that, unfortunately, I would love that scent to stay on me so I could just keep going, (laughs) but it absorbs directly in. It does not linger, but even just that immediate smell to put it on, put it on all of these points beforehand, put it on the vagus nerve. Yes. You think that would be a good thing also, right? To reduce stress, the vagus nerve that you are showing in the middle of the ear. And if you just wand inside the ear, you're going to hit that point as well. Right, right. And and we can go down to the thyroid area also, you know, think about what's connected to the thyroid, adrenals and 
um, cortisol. You know, you can go down to the thyroid and put some mm-hmm. oil and just um, uh, get yourself going and and reducing any kind of anxiety. You know, I know that I took that one and I was wanting everything I could because I was leaving my home. I didn't know what I was coming home to. Mm-hmm. I didn't know whether I would come home to um, a, no home. I mean, it would be flattened. I didn't know whether it would, everything would be ruined in my home because we are, sit, our home sits in the mouth of the bay. And um, so the surge that they were calling for, we wouldn't have a home. And so when I drove away and I'm, I'm telling you, I was, I was, you know, scared. And, um, but I knew that I needed to leave, that that was the best thing for me and my family and my dogs. So um, I left, but I was leaving my husband behind too. So that was kind of scary. And, um, you know, I, I took this, that wand and I always use my oils and I use my creams, you know, obviously since, you know, I do make them, I can use them a lot. (laughs) (laughs) But um, yeah, that I think that, um, that with all that, it helped me so much to be, you know, to go past it. But one thing you and I had talked about earlier today was that I thought about brain balancing and the movement, Yes. you know, when you're wanding the whole movement, you know, we journal for a reason, we write for a reason when we use journaling as a um, brain balancer, which it is so good at that. And we dance and we, and we bounce balls on the right, right, side and left side of our body and we draw lines there's so many brain balancing exercises but then all of a sudden today this came to when i was talking to you it came to my mind about the wand and if we used the wand and crossed the midline and would wand our body so um renee you love that idea too i do of course because those of you who might know me through um, some of my workouts, the T-tap workout, and that was a huge thing. We have a move where you're crossing the midline, and it's just amazing how powerful that is. Again, simple. It's not complicated, right? Breathing, slow, deep breathing, not complicated. But we like complications. That you know, we love that complication. But when you can get down to simple, so what Kim was saying is, so you take the wand in the left hand and want, and actually, you're going to do it automatically, really. Like you don't really have to think about it. If I have here, I'm going to do this, right? I'm going opposite. I'm going to go here. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do my right foot with my left hand and vice versa, right? So we're automatically doing that and moving and moving the wand in circles. So absolutely, I think that that is just, that was just really an interesting observation. And just, again, another benefit that we can get from it. Right, right. I think that is just, it's just so healing to do that whole brain balancing, you know, so we, we, we've done our feet and then we've used Ren 17. That's right here. Yin Tong. That's right there, you know, and then, and then we've done the more balancing, just crossing the midline of our body with the right and left side, because we need both sides, you know, ultimately, you know, you've heard all that talk, right. About, you know, what's on the right side, what right-sided people do and what left-sided people do, but ultimately to get a completely well-balanced body, it has to be, the brain has to be balanced. Right. I love that. Mm -hmm. And if you don't happen to have your wand with you, one of the things you can do, you guys, is take your legs and cross them. So the feet cross over, right? And, or you can even, you can cross your legs, but it's better just to cross the feet at the ankle. And then you can also do some crossing of the hands in front of your chest, right? Like this. So, of course, we pray like this, but you can go this way. So now you're crossing the ankles, you're crossing your wrist, and then again with the deep breathing. And that also helps to create a brain balance. And now you'll just notice if you cross those points and just do that deep breath again, you're just going to notice that everything comes back into alignment. Yes. Yes. Which is beautiful. Yeah. yeah I, I, like it. I love it. I love it. Um, so one of the other things that I just thought would be good to mention as we as we kind of put a, a bow on this is, you know, when we have all these deep emotions, stress, anxiety, fear, so much going on with so many people right now, it's really important every day to move the body, 
Move the body in ways that feel good to you, but move. Just walking. You know, walking is a left brain, right brain balancer. Your one hand comes up, the foot goes back. So it is a cross pattern that also helps with the brain. Move in ways that feel good to you. Move all kinds of, of different ways. Why is that? Number one, because the brain loves um, novel movement, moving in different ways. That's one reason. But the second reason is that it's really important to process stress and emotions through the body. If you do not move and you've had something traumatic happen, what happens is it gets locked up in the fascia. And think about all the trauma, all the stress, all the just even just that hit, you know, you're in traffic and you almost get hit. We're like this, you know, for one second, we're like, oh, my gosh. But if we don't during the day move and think just and you don't even have to think I'm processing emotions, you're just moving them through the body. They get locked up. And again, that's the issues in the tissues. Right. And it does get locked up in the fascia. So it's really important to have some kind of a movement that you do throughout the day. Great to do at the end of the day, even if it's just getting on the floor, doing some yoga. And one of the things that Kim and I talked about, and this is something that I absolutely love to do. I'm going to recommend it to you if it's something you enjoy. When I get really stressed out, I will just put on some of my favorite rock music, music that I love, has a great beat. And I just get up in my room and I just start to dance, just dance, let loose. You know, the saying, dance like nobody's watching, right? Dance like you dance in the shower. And I'll just get up and just dance and move and process and get angry. And, oh, five minutes, three minutes. Yeah. Oh, you can't be upset, angry, and stressed after you have just you know, gone through a great Michael Jackson, beat it. <laughs> well, you know what? Oh, your favorite one is. <laughs> and mine is Dancing Queen. Dancing oh, yeah, Queen by all ABBA. Oh my gosh, I love that by ABBA. Well, I like any songs by ABBA, but you know, everything from Mamma Mia, you know? I love those songs from Mamma Mia because those are the best. I do too. We probably need to put together some of our own playlists, right? Yeah, that would be um, nice. dance yeah. music. You know, like five minutes, get rid of the tension. But again, just another reason. We know that movement is one of the most beneficial things that we can do for our health, for longevity, and to keep our brain juicy. But there's another reason, and that's for stress release. So highly recommending the breathing, the dancing, the moving, the wanding, the foot between the eyes, Ren 17, just wand cross. Yeah. And send out blessings as you do enjoy it. And just know that you're helping not only yourself, but you're helping everybody else around you and then around the planet. We're just here healing. That's right. Amen, sister. Yes, Amen. So okay. Great. Well, and thanks, Dan. I thought I'd just share this up here with you. Exercise in motion. Yes. Windmills. Those were great too, right? The windmills, the cross patterning. I mean, they're old, but there was a reason. There's some of this stuff is, everything is old is new again, right? Including bell bottoms. So there we go. <laughs> That's kind of scary, Renee. <laughs> uh, sorry. <laughs> okay. Stop showing your very old age. <laughs> So you guys let us, we'll, we'll put a big bow on this and just say thanks for joining us so much. We hope that some of this information helps you, but it will only help you if you choose to do it. So go off, blow, oil up, move, and we'll see you again soon. Take good care and stay safe. Bye guys. Bye.